Welcome to Power News with your host, Shikama, uh, produced by Boundless Enterprise. I want to make this brief video, and I just want to go over some things with you so that this is fresh in your mind and that you understand where I'm coming from. Now, this video is about the GOP, the uh, Republican Party, and I say that the Republican Party is prepared to fight but not draw blood. Of course, it goes without saying that the Republicans and the, and the Democrats uh, share the same masters. All the lobbyists go to the same people, to, to all of the people. The same lobbyists go to all of the people, whether they're Democrat or Republican. There are no lobbyists that go only to Democrats or only to Republican. And they give them instructions, uh, treat them to dinner, uh, tell them what to do. So that goes without saying that that is the atmosphere in Washington. You would think that there would be human nature then uh, to even regardless of that, that you still would keep your own self-interest. Well, that can't be since we don't see the Republicans attacking the Democrats. Even when we did have the story of the Republicans finally standing up to the Democrats uh, during the uh, shutdown with the Obamacare, we see that the entire country the mainstream media, the sheep that watch the mainstream media, all got into an uproar saying, I can't believe these Republicans are standing up to the Democrats. That's what they're supposed to do. But as I said, the, the uh, Republican Party is prepared to fight but not draw blood. What do I mean by that? Uh, the Obama administration, the entire White House, should be completely sacked uh, along with key members of Congress for Obamacare, which is treasonous. I don't care what the Supreme Court said. The Supreme Court, let me go over that briefly, said that Obamacare is a tax. Well, here's the problem. If it is a tax, it is unconstitutional also because it was not apportioned. Uh, any tax that is levied, levied against the United States uh, citizens, it has to be levied first. So Obamacare does not do that. So I know it's a tax. It's a tax. They keep telling you to talk about health care. Give, give you the sock butt over here. They keep talking about health care, but it's a tax. That's all it is. That's all it ever was, and that's all it ever. That's all it ever will be. It's an extra tax just so that uh, uh, and and they talk about health care so you don't pay attention to it all of these things should not only draw blood but they should uh, remove all of those people from office but the Republican Party is prepared to fight but not draw blood now why is that now let's go back to the shutdown so the Republican Party stood up to the Democrats then the Democrats pulled the old switcheroo. So what they did was, so what they did was, the Republicans said, we will fund the entire government budget except for Obamacare. And then the Democrats pulled the switcheroo and said, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Let it all shut down. And Obamacare and Obama himself ordered the shutdown of the government. Then they went to their cronies in the mainstream media and the mainstream media said, oh, the Republicans shut down the government. <laughs> no, it's, of course, the Democrats that shut down the government. But once again, the Republican Party are prepared to fight but not draw blood. At no point did you see hear any uh, Republican congressman say that it was the Democrats that shut down the government and not they themselves. You didn't hear that. The Republicans are prepared to fight but not draw blood. When you have uh, these uh, uh, political races, these uh, 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 campaigns, and they do the polling, and, uh, and, and sometimes the polling is so off, 70 to 30 but then it comes to the election it's 45 to 46 why is that how is that possible how can you have a poll that says 70 30 uh, oh 
Or better yet, how, do, how can you have one poll say 70-30 and all the rest say 45 to 46? Or 42 to 40? How is that possible? That's it's, it's impossible. And then they turn on the pollster that has 70 to 30. They say, oh, that, that, that person, that was a really big deal during the, uh, during the 2008 campaign with Barack Obama. Obama. Uh, what it is, of course, is besides the obvious cheating, what it is, is they manipulate it so that when the election rolls around, it seems really close. So that the sheep, let's get the sock puppet out again, so that the sheep just simply say, oh, that race was so close. Oh, man, that was that was so close. And then they do stuff like, say, Governor Chris Christie got 50 percent of the boat. It was a landslide. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, I, I forget the uh, name and magic. If you, if you know a magician, uh, a part of a trick is to uh, promise something really tiny and deliver a little bit more than the, the time. I forget the name of that, but that is a part of a magic trick. And that is consistently done to the u.s population i i i'm a libertarian so i'm not democrat or or, or or republican at all uh i don't believe that either party is doing anything for the uh, united states now the uh, g and i'm just giving the uh, republicans as an example of because right now the republicans are the underdog right uh i'm just giving you an example of how this should be obvious to you now that this should be obvious. The Obama administration is riddled with scandal. It is more scandalous than anything Clinton ever did. It is more scandalous than Carter, anything. And yet they are not impeaching this guy. They're not calling for a hearing for treason or not in the, not in the open, shall we say. There are uh, things going on for treason. There are things going on for impeachment, but not in the open. They don't want to draw blood uh, i'm going to go over some of the things that i talked about uh, my next video is going to be about benghazi the full story thank you for watching power news this is uh, your host shikama from shikama live